Alright, so your beliefs and your thoughts are going to shape your reality. So, going through your day, what you're thinking about, where you're giving your attention in your mind, you are going to perceive these things in your reality as you go throughout your day. Even, even things in your life that you are passionate about and that you are maybe fighting for a certain cause, giving attention to these things is going to make these things persist. If you're trying to stop something in the world from happening, whatever that is, if you're fighting to end it, that mentality is going to make it continually persist because you're giving your energy to to confirm what you're thinking. So it will keep showing up and keep giving you something worth fighting for, something, some injustice that you're fighting for to keep going towards, to keep pursuing. So as soon as you realize this, you can decide whether or not these things that you're giving your attention to are serving you. Are they pulling you down into, into lower states of consciousness, of states of, states of fear, states of anger, states of like, you know, rage, because you, you're just so passionate about these things and you're so involved and invested in, in achieving a certain outcome that it's actually, and the, in the end of the day, it's not serving your higher self. When it's pulling you into these lower states of consciousness, it's not going to serve you. <laughs> it's, it's pouring rain at the moment, so I hope the audio is still all right on this. But yeah, basically, you're, whatever that is, it's going to keep persisting. And reality only is just a reflection of your thoughts and your beliefs. So when you shift, as soon as you shift them, you will notice that your, the whole reality changes. So it comes back to the question of, does this actually exist outside of my awareness? And there's potential for it not to. So if something that you're super passionate about, invested in, that's pulling you into negative states of consciousness, Maybe look at it as a thing that's not serving you and there's better ways to put your energy, give better things to give your energy to that are going to raise your vibration and free up space in your mind and in your world to receive a different reality that is more aligned with what you want and, and the world you want to go about living in. So I think, I think a big part of it is a shift from like an external view, allowing the external world to then shape your beliefs, which then reinforce your beliefs, which then shape your external world. It's this ongoing cycle where you, you flip it and you go, you look at your beliefs and you go, what beliefs aren't serving me? What do I need to let go of? What beliefs do I need to let go of? And what new beliefs do I want to create? And through doing that, then you change your internal world and what you're thinking about. And then that reflects your external world. And then that reinforces again your internal world. And it's this ongoing cycle. So it's, 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 take, it's making a break in that, in that feedback loop of not, not continually allowing the external to then reinforce your beliefs if you feel them or some parts of them that aren't serving you. What beliefs do you need to let go of and what what new beliefs do you want to take on that's going to help shape a reality that you want to live in, the world you want to live in and the person, what person do you want to be and being that person and then that will be reflected in your external world and help you grow and evolve as a person. So it's yes, looking at your your beliefs and your your thinking patterns and, and deciding which ones do I want to let go of and which what thoughts, what beliefs do I want to take on as my identity and move from that place. And that will help 
reflect a, a better, I don't better is maybe not the right word, but reflect a, a more optimal world that you perceive. So yeah, something something there to consider.